My name is Renee, and I'm a multimedia artist in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, where do I start? It's a long story. I've been a creative person since I could first hold a pencil. I picked it up and I never looked back. Being a multimedia artist means that I work in more than one medium, and sometimes I combine those media to create one project. I think my biggest sources of inspiration are nature, people, and history. They continually inspire me to express myself creatively through painting, sculpting, and more. Witnessing my own evolution as an artist has been very fulfilling. Make creating a part of every day of my life. These days I sell my original work and my commission projects through my website and it's been amazing some of the places that my work has taken me and the opportunities that it's open for me. Sort of hope that I could outrun my passion. Fitting into society's standards and timelines kind of loses its importance when you become true to yourself and your own goals. Aside from putting new safety measures in place, doing my work during a pandemic hasn't really changed much, except now I'm brainstorming ways to inspire people to be creative with any free time they have or resources they have on hand at home. The times that I have tried to have someone come in, it's just really difficult for me to delegate my passion. How do you delegate passion? I pretty much love every aspect of my work. If I had to pick my least favorite things, I think they would be sanding and bookkeeping. Possibly in that order. No two days are the same. Most days, I love being my own boss. Some days, not so much, because I have sometimes unrealistic expectations for what can get done in a day. Um, I think I expect some kind of artistic superpower to kick in and to be able to produce vast amounts of work. Um, one of my strengths in, in art school was figure drawing and, and sculpting, and I don't feel like I have enough time in the day over the years, my biggest challenge has been to find balance. Balance between work and life, between day jobs and my true passion. It's amazing how looking back, every one of those experiences has taught me things that I use in my work now. A great lesson for me over years of doing this work has been, if you see a chance, an opportunity, a window of time, snatch it. Sometimes all you need is the luxury of a couple of hours to get your creative mind and gear and just do it. There may be some bumps in the road, but if you love it enough, it's worth it. By creating an imaginary